and I talk about business building, business and life building. Um, you guys see in the title, one beautiful thing about your life and your is, you can change it. Oh my goodness. That's such an amazing thing. And I want to talk about, you know, the ability that you got, you guys have to really change whatever it is that's going on in your life and your business. For those of you who've never been on a live broadcast with me before, I'm Tanya Wilson Cherry, business consultant and certified life coach. I help owners just like yourself get new customers, maintain the ones they have, and profit for real in their business. I help them create amazing brands, and I have a, a staple that I live by, and that's your mind has a lot to do with your money and everything else you set out to do. And so a lot of what's going on and what transpires and all of our results are centered around what's going on up here. And so oftentimes with my clients, I help them to up level, you know, massive growth. A lot of times it's just whatever we've been exposed to, right? Whatever we feel is possible, that is what we, we set out to do. And so I was <laughs> encouraged to do this particular topic this morning uh, because here lately I've, you know, talked to many of us who were connecting with me on, you know, growing their business or doing some things different. And one of the things I noticed was that there was this fear right to to do it different and i want to talk about that one this morning and give you guys some things to think about as it relates to your business because i mean it's really amazing how if we don't like it we really can change it and so when a person continues to have results in their life and their business that they don't like and they continue to operate in that space there are usually a couple things that are transpiring that don't allow them to do that Good morning on Facebook. How are you? <clears throat> so I had, um, first, I was excited this morning because you guys know, like you get the memories that come up in your, in your newsfeed on Facebook and they tell you what you posted like a year ago, two years ago, seven years ago on this very day. And one of the first things that I saw this morning was my first, very first Facebook Live that I ever did. And I remember saying, I really don't have um, anything planned because you guys know I normally write things down and plan out my broadcast for you guys. But I had something I wanted to share. And I talked about vision and I was like, wow, you know, I've really been on this vision thing. It's been a huge part. Hey, Stacy, how are you, dear? A huge part of my message for a long time. Um, vision, It's it's been vision. And as I'm talking to the owners, I notice that many of them are in a place that I used to be in. Good morning, beautiful. And a girlfriend of mine and I were talking about it on yesterday. I was sharing with her that although, you know, as a new, fresh and up and coming, I was really busy. I had a lot of clients. The one thing that's different from then and how I operate now is I didn't have a vision back then someone if you come on even if it's in the replay put the word vision in the comments if you're on with me live put the word vision in the comments i didn't have a vision back then so my main goal was just to do a lot of clients right it was just to um, get as many clients coming in as possible and still be able to travel and do the other things that i wanted which i i believe that is super important that we have goals and goals are the things that you know you set out maybe every day you may have a goal for your business um i did have goals right i had like income goals that i wanted to meet every day but it was mainly to suit what i had going on at that time hope you guys are with me and when we don't have anything that expands beyond where we are right now and what i mean by where we are right now i mean so you may know what it needs what is required to pay your rent or if you're an owner you know your overhead and then you may know you need to pay your car payment and little things not little things but things like that and so those are goals right but if your vision doesn't expand further than that you just do the same things over and over again because your only target is to um, be able to maintain what you have going on on this level and so as i'm talking to have reached out to me recently who 
it's obvious to me that they need to do something different. It's obvious to me that change needs to occur, but they're struggling to make the shifts, right? They're struggling to make the shifts. So I wanted to come on this morning to talk to you guys about the fact that you do have the authority and the power to change whatever's going on in your life and your business that you don't like. You can change it. And so often we've been um, conformed to you know, doing things a particular way, similar to how the majority of everyone else is doing it. And guys, I wanna share something that I've learned that's been so powerful for me. The majority, if the majority is doing it, oftentimes it's another way to go, right? Other than that, because the majority of people are not comfortable with what's going on in their life and their business. They're not. They would love for it to be an, a different way. And all they really need to do is make a mental shift and realize that they actually have the power to change it. And so one of the things that will help you, like if, if your business, if you're needing something different in your business or, or your life, is to shift quickly. Shift quickly. And what I mean by that is, if you've been in a space and you realize that something is not working, right? It's not working for you in your life and business, guys, you have to shift quickly, move out of that space, give yourself permission to do it differently. So one of the, one of the strongest um, characteristics or um, character traits of a great leader or a person who is successful is their ability to make decisions quickly. Now, it's not like they're making decisions just haphazardly, right? They're decisions that they've thought about, but they don't sit in limbo for a long time because guys, a confused mind does nothing or a little bit of everything. And so what happens whenever we feel like we're in a space where change is needed in our life and our business, if we don't make a complete decision, if we don't make a decision, we'll either go back to what wasn't working, we'll go back to those same habits, those same thoughts and get the same results, or we do nothing, right? We stay in limbo. So shift quickly, focus on solutions. So, I mean, there's so many different things that you may wanna change or you may wanna see different, but as long as your mindset is, is so in tune with what's wrong, you never get to the point where you're focusing on the solution. Stacy says that's good. You never get to that space. And so clear, you know, clear your mind. Give yourself permission, one, to reflect. One of the things I find is that people stay in routines, stay stuck in routines that aren't working because they don't take the time to reflect. Reflecting has been this big um, shift, a principle that I've been using in my life that has worked for me um, in, oh my, I can't even explain how powerful reflecting has been in my life and business because I realized that when we get in routines and we do them over and over and over again, and we're not taking the time to kind of fall back and really think about what's going on, we can end up being stuck for years, five years, 10 years, 15 years. One, because we haven't taken time to really assess you know, what's going on. And two, because even when we know, you may know that something isn't right, but fear, fear will you know, cause you to just be at a standstill. And you're going to have to have courage. If you want to create a business and a lifestyle that you truly, truly desire, it's going to require a measure of courage. So if what you're doing isn't working, one, you have to make up your whole mind what you want your business and your life to look like. If you have not gotten clear on that, you'll do exactly what I said before. You'll do some of everything. You'll be grabbing at different things and you know, trying a whole lot of things that ultimately will only cause burnout. Or you'll go back to doing those routine things that weren't working before. And so you got to make up your mind. This is one of the questions connect with me about different situations they may be, be in. So recently someone was in a situation where they weren't happy, they weren't really producing the revenue that they desired. And then it, the, the distance that they were um, commuting to get there was long.
And so I ask, is any of that what you desire? So many of you feel like the situation that you're in is the end all be all as if you don't have a choice in the matter, but you do. You have the authority and you have the power if it's not working to change it. And you have to have the courage to step out and do that. I look at it like this. If what you have going on isn't working, if it's a struggle to continue to do things in that manner, then why does fear not allow you? Because fear says, you know, I'm afraid that if I do it that way, it's going to be difficult or it's going it's to be hard. You know, if I do something new or if I change what it is that I desire and what I'm setting my intentions on, it's going to be hard. But if what you're doing now is not working, I can only imagine that that is super difficult as well. And so you got to make sense of the entire thing. So what you need is a made up mind. What is it that you really, really want? So when I say make up your mind what you want, if you have an income goal, um, T Green, how are you? If you have an income goal, or if you don't have, let's talk about if you don't have an income goal. If you don't have an income goal, you will continue to just work and not know when you've hit different milestones that are going to get you where you actually desire to be. So as um, a friend of mine and I were talking on yesterday and I was sharing with her, that's that was me at one point. I just wanted to do a lot of clients and kind of maintain where I was. But I didn't have a vision any further than that. So what really helped me a lot was to set like actual income goals. Like if you want to make 300000 for the year, then that strategy is going to be different from 60,000. But if you never set your intentions, if you never get clear, if you never make up your whole mind what it is that you desire, you will never know a new strategy that's needed to make it happen. And so the thing that will continue to go through your mind is, you know, I, something's got to change, right? But if you find clarity, this is why I talk about clarity all the time. And it's also one of the reasons why my clients see massive results when we work together, because we gain a measure of clarity about about what they really want, not what they've seen. Someone else has limited them to think is possible for them and not even based on some of the limited experiences they may have had as it relates to their success. It's a decision. It's a decision. Like for me, transitioning, it really became like real where I was actually producing income and replacing when I made up my mind. As long as I was like, you know, swaddling the fence or straddling the fence, you know, I was only putting the, the, I wasn't putting the right amount of energy into what it is that I really, really desired. So most of you can do off the back of like with your eyes closed because you've done it for so long. Those things are routine. Those things create the same results for you in your life and your business over and over again. But it isn't until you really make up your whole mind about what you desire that's further out than where you are now that your strategy begins to change. I shared on a post earlier this morning, I said, if your plan doesn't change, don't change your vision, but you got to have one first. You got to have one first. And many of you are limiting what you think is possible for you. And when you do that, you will operate in fear. Fear will never allow you to build the business and lifestyle you love ever. Never, it, it just won't allow it. Now that's not to say that we won't have fear to come up when we're doing new things, but we have to have the courage to move past them and not fall back into the same routines we were in before. You have to be able to take some calculated risk. You're not going to be able to create the business and lifestyle you love if you're operating in fear. So know what it is that you actually want, the real thing that you want, not what you feel, not what you're saying you want because this is all you feel you can produce right now. Because if you if you do that, you'll only build, you'll build the same thing that you have going on. You have to have the ability to stretch mentally about what you really desire and that's going to require you to shift and do new strategies. And so some people do say, I want something that's further out than where I am now, but then they never align with the strategies that are going to get them there. They still fall into low levels of, of um, action, um, change, or, or whatever they're going to do 
whatever they're doing daily, it kind of remains the same. So I just wanted to encourage you guys that you don't have to conform, guys. So many of us are conforming to how we think it should be without allowing ourselves to really expand in what it is that we really, really desire. So what is it that you want? Because one beautiful thing about your business and life, you can change it. If you don't like it, you have all the power to change it. You just have to have the courage. You got to have clarity. And then you need courage to be able to do that. For those of you who know that you're looking for change, I, I have these different ideas and thoughts about what it is that I desire, but I can't find clarity. I invite you to join me inside 3D Success. It is a transformational force that will give you clarity, direction, strategy, and help you set your intentions, help you set your focus so that you aren't always falling back. Um, is that Pink Lotus? Hey there, how are you? Thank you for joining on Instagram. So that you aren't always falling back and conforming to what wasn't working for you before. Are you really building the business and lifestyle that you love? That's the question I wanna ask you guys on today. Is what you're doing heading you in the direction of what you truly, truly desire? If not, I ask you to give yourself permission, bet on yourself, invest in yourself. Um, it's value packed. I have included everything that I felt would position you to prosper, truly build a, a brand and attract your perfect people without you being overwhelmed with the information. I've made it simple, easy to do. Um, and, and one of the biggest sessions that we do inside 3D Success is we do a mindset shift because whatever it is you desire on the next level is going to de desire you to become a new version of yourself. And that always starts with your thinking. You're thinking about what you feel is available to you, what you really feel that you deserve and desire as you're creating your business and the life that you actually love. Guys, we have the power to change, right? That's the beautiful thing about all of this. We really do have the power to change. So I encourage you guys and I challenge you, reflect, take a moment to reflect and say, is this really what I desire? Is it time for me to reinvent? Is it time for me to rebrand? Do I need to attract a new perfect person into my business as far as my customers are concerned or my staff is concerned? And what do I need to do to align with it? As you grow, your business should grow with you. As you grow, your business should grow with you. Many of you are in a place where your pricing structure isn't even set up for you to profit in your business, right? And so that's one of the modules that we talk about, your pricing, we go over your menus, um, we figure out how you can create the value that's going to allow you to charge what you're really worth and what's needed for your business to actually profit. I wanna grow IG, how are you dear? Thank you for joining. So guys, you really can, the, the greatest thing is that you can change your business and your life, right? That's the beautiful thing about it. And it's all with the decision, hey darling, that you make and getting really clear on what you want. Ask, ask yourself, is this what I want? Is what I'm doing now, is it really working, right? And if not, what do I need to do to shift? <clears throat> and for those of you who are joining me inside 3D Success, I help you to do that. I help you to align with the person that you've involved, evolved into now, because many of you have evolved and your brand needs to, to evolve with you. I want you guys to you know, remove the limitations that you may have about your ability to change, because most oftentimes what's really holding you back is fear. Fear won't allow you to build an amazing business right? It's, it's normally fear. So I want you guys to remove that um, shift quickly if you need to focus on solutions and not problems. Uh, be willing to take some calculated risk. Make up your whole mind. What is it that I really want? Not limiting yourself in, in the things that you desire as it relates to growing um, and the lifestyle that you love. You guys need a desire on the inside of you that kind of feels like fire. 
And what that thing is going to do, that desire that feels like fire, what it's going to do, it's going to burn off any unnecessary emotions, any unnecessary relationships, any unnecessary um, tasks and things that you're doing that won't allow you to get there. Until you get like a true desire for what it is that you really want. And remember I said that desire will be like a consuming fire. So it's going to eliminate those things. That's very true. That's one of my obstacles. Don't allow fear to hold you back. It will have you stuck in the same place year after year after year after year. It will have you conforming to what you don't even desire, what doesn't feel great anymore, what doesn't align with you. Um, I mean, we really do have the ability to change. I'm watching how in the last few years I've transitioned. This is what I do full time, guys. And it wasn't until I made a decision. What do you want your career to look like? What do you want your life to look like? Um, I've made other decisions like that. Okay, I have you know, been going to classes. I'm investing in myself. I am valuable. It's time for a price increase. What I'm offering to the marketplace is valuable, right? And then I made the necessary shifts. And so fear won't allow you to do that. Fear will keep you stuck. Fear will keep you afraid. One of the ladies that I spoke with recently was afraid that she would lose, you know, clients who have been with her for a long time. But many of your clients are waiting for you to operate at the highest version of yourself. They're ready for change as well. And for those that aren't ready, you're going to gain new ones along the way that align with who you're evolving into. You have to give yourself permission. One of the things I shared, I said, when your clients need to reschedule, when they are going on vacation or out of town or whatever it is that they're doing, do they hesitate to move their appointment or change their appointment? Or if they move to another city, do they hesitate to do that? But they're not letting that be the reason they don't allow their lives to grow and evolve. And you guys have to give yourselves permission to do that as well. Whatever it is that's holding you back or keeping you, if it's fear, um, some of you just simply haven't invested in yourself. It's not something that you're accustomed to. But if you're wanting to make changes in your life and your business, investing in the information that's going to get you there is going to be necessary, right? Because you need to be a new version of yourself for the next level. And many times that's packaged in information that you don't have, because if you had it, you would be doing it right now, right? You would be able to access your next level right now. So clarity, set your intentions, remove the fear. Um, you guys join us inside 3D Success Value Pack. We go really deep into getting clear on what you want and who you are as a brand and how to position yourself so that you're attracting your perfect people and you're seeing massive growth with your profits and in how you feel about the business that you're, you're building because it's, it's important, guys. It makes a huge, huge, huge difference. And so you don't have to conform to what's going on in your life and business right now. You really have the authority to change. And I want to wanted to share that with you guys this morning and maybe empower you guys to take whatever the necessary steps are to do it different. If you don't like it, change it.